Hey guys, today I'm just going to walk you through the steps of installing a dishwasher in your home. There's three main connections that you need to make. The first is the electrical. Usually this is already in place. If not, you'll probably need an electrician to help you with that. The second is the water supply line. Uh, this is usually, usually in most cases, coming already from underneath the uh, your, your, your kitchen cabinet or kitchen sink. So that's mine there. Uh, if you're replacing a dishwasher, now would be a good time to change your water supply line as it's only about $20 and that will give you uh, the peace of mind for the next uh, 10 to 20 years or so. And the third is the water drain line. So all the dirty water has to go somewhere and this is usually supplied with dishwasher along with your drain line clips and some other stuff that came with the dishwasher are the brackets. You can use these on top of the dishwasher or on the side, like if you have a stone countertop. You probably might not be able to use them under here because they're still in there so we can use these on the sides like so and you'll probably need a 90 degree elbow as well or actually you will uh, this can come in any uh, dishwasher install kit or it might be supplied with a dishwasher and then the last piece is the kick panel with the soundproofing or acoustic foaming that it comes with Okay, so let's get started with installing the dishwasher. One of the first steps that you want to do is to turn the dishwasher on its back. Once you've received it and everything, you turn it on its back. Most uh, or all dishwashers come with adjustable legs. Usually it's three. This is one here. You just unscrew it to raise the left side. Here's the other one for the right side. And then there's usually one at the back here as well to tilt it uh, backwards or forwards. So these are just the adjustable legs. Your water supply line will be here in the front and then the drain will be here in the back. Again, uh, your dishwasher might be different. And then the electrical connection here will just be in this little junction box. So here we have uh, green for ground. Uh, the brass one is, is your load wire and then the silver screw is your neutral. So that's what that looks like. So we'll be connecting the electrical here, the water supply here and the drain here. Okay, so one of the first connections uh, we're going to make is the drain tube and this is usually supplied as mentioned previously. So the dishwasher is upright again, I've stood it up and uh, you will need one of these clamps here. This is usually supplied with the drain and I just want you to pay attention to on the drain line or on the drain outlet, there's a little bit of a lip here. I just want you to pay attention to that and I'll tell you why that's important here in a sec. Okay, so I'm just going to one of the first things is putting the clip on the outside of the hose first because once the hose is on you won't be able to get this clip on. Compress that. And before you connect this just try and be aware of what uh, what direction you want to route the hose. Like uh, because this is a 90 degree and I want to route the hose left, I'll be putting it on this way. So the reason I showed you that lip on the outlet pipe is that you want the ring here, the ring that I'm compressing with the vice grip, you want the ring behind it. So you can kind of usually feel where it is and then you just release, release the clamp. You want the clamp to sit behind it. That way if it gets tugged or anything like that, it doesn't come off. It's on there uh, fairly good. So that's it there. That's the drain line connected and it's facing left because that's the direction I want to route the dishwasher uh, drain line. Okay, now with the drain tube attached, a couple of things are going to happen next. I'm going to slide the dishwasher into place under the cabinet while feeding the drain tube here into the other side of the cabinet. Now, this dishwasher manufacturer calls that the drain tube has to be 33 inches above ground. This is called a high loop. Let's measure that. There you go, it's about 33 inches above ground. And this is just to prevent any sort of backflow of water going into the bottom of the dishwasher. Another point, really important point actually, that I forgot to mention is obviously make sure that your breaker is off before you're working on the dishwasher. So while I'm sliding the dishwasher back under the cabinet, I'm gonna to wanna to sort of support the drain tube coming in here. So you can see the drain tube there and it's here so I'm just going to pull on it just just to get rid of any slack. So 
so that when I'm sliding in the, the dishwasher under the cabinet, it doesn't bunch up under there. Okay. So now I'm just sliding it into place, being careful not to hit anything or snag any of the wires. You want to have a look underneath the dishwasher too, just to make sure everything looks good. I'll slide it in about a little, a foot or so, and then I'll pull on the drain tube to get rid of any slack. And then I'll slide in another foot or so. Pull on the drain tube again. And then just want to make sure that you're the water supply line's there, it's coming out now. And I'm just going to leave the dishwasher sticking out about two inches so that I'll be able to attach the brackets and put up the rest of the connections. And this way, if, if anything needs to be pulled back out, it'll be easier. So I just wanted to show you this. The dishwasher is in place um, from, from where we last left it. This is the water supply on the left. And then this is the electrical on the right. And I just wanted you to pay attention to just make sure like all the wires move freely and that none of them are stuck under a leg or anything. You see the electrical wire here, it moves freely as well. It's not stuck on anything. And then here, just make sure your drain tube moves freely that it's not snagging on anything because you don't want to pinch any of these uh, when you're installing the dishwasher. Okay, now we'll hook up the water supply line. I'm going to take my 90 degree water supply elbow and hook it up to where uh, the water goes in to the dish, dishwasher and you don't need any Teflon tape when there's already a rubber o-ring seal in there as it's kind of redundant. It's not necessary, especially on these plastic threads. So you're just going to hand tighten that like a garden hose. And you're going to want to keep it the direction that your water supply is coming from. So mine's coming from the right side, so I have it on the right side. And then you'll want to take your vice grips and just give it like a quarter turn or so once it's hand tightened. I'm trying to keep the elbow facing the right side. This probably would have been easier with the dishwasher on its back. Let's bring that down a little bit. We're just going to do a quarter turn with the crescent wrench as well. That's nice and snug. And then next we'll do the electrical. Okay, so I've pulled the wire through the hole in the junction box on the front of the dishwasher. Now I'm at the right side and now I'm just going to connect the wires uh, in the sequence that I first mentioned uh, in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to do the ground here and you just push it up under the screw. So you screw the screw out a little bit and it goes under the screw like that. And then you just tighten it onto the wire and it clamps the wire in place. The next one is the neutral one. And we're just pushing this under the silver screw like that. And you just want to make sure it's firmly seated under the screw and then now we just screw it in place and then next we're going to connect the load which is the black wire into the brass screw and that's just going to go under the screw or behind it rather depending on which way you're looking at it Once all the wires are in place, just give them a little tug and make sure they're not loose or anything. They're not going to fall out. Next, we're just going to put the junction box back on here. And then using the supplied screw, we're just going to screw it in place. Okay, next we're just going to connect the uh, drain tube into the sink. And I just want to show you this. It has two spots. There's a half inch spot. So if, you're, uh, if your drain 
tube into the sink is half an inch, you're going to cut it right here. And it has a three quarter inch. If you're using a three quarter inch uh, drain, you won't cut it at all. You'll just use this part. But mine is half inch, so I'm going to cut it right at the half inch line here. This is what it looks like on the inside. You see it tapers down and there's a bit of a lip and then it narrows down a bit more. Also, you want to make sure that your drain is before the P-trap right here. So mine is right up here. I hope you can see that and it's before the p-trap so i'm just going to cut the tube now at the half an inch mark and then i'll connect it to the train up here okay with your drain tube cut to the appropriate uh, diameter i'm just going to put the clamp on and i'm just going to put it on to the drain nipple here you just want to be mindful of how long uh, your drain nipple is just so that once it's on you have an idea of how much is uh insert it into the drain tube. So I'm just going to slide that on there. And it's just going to take a little bit of force, wiggling back and forth, and then maybe a little bit of twisting. That's nice and snug. Okay, so we have the electrical connected, we have the water supply connected, and we have the drain hooked up. Now, I just leveled the dishwasher, and I, I didn't level it with the actual level, I just leveled it with the countertop, because visually, I think that looks better. Sometimes the countertops aren't perfectly level, and then you level it with, an out, with a level, and you see that there's a little bit of a gap, but I leveled it with the countertops. And... So once you have the dishwasher level, and again, that's just done by turning the screws here. There's one on the left, there's one on the right, and there's one at the back. If you have long skinny arms like me, you can tilt the dishwasher a little bit forward and reach the one at the back. That's what I did. So now that the dishwasher is level, we're going to insert these supplied screws. They give you two screws, and you're just going to put these in here. And this just screws into the leg so that it prevents it from shifting or, or anyone turning it by accident. Okay, now with the dishwasher level, we're going to install the brackets at the side. Because we have a stone countertop, we won't be installing it at the top, like here. This is for top countertops, like, or, or this is if you want to install it into the countertop, if you have a wooden countertop, this is installing it at the side. And the instructions say to break it here at the perforated edge. So you're going to break the first one there, and then you're going to break the second bracket here. I'm just going to show you using the supplied screw here. But there's a couple holes here, I hope you can see these, one, two, and then one at the bottom. And the one that you're going to want to install it on is the one where there's a little bit of a, a opening in the, in, in the rubber seal here. So you'll see the little, I'll just put my finger through it, the opening there, because this is going to go on like this, and I'm going to put the screw in here, and then this little opening seal here will open up. And once the dishwasher is slid into place, it will allow me to put a screw in here and then cover it back up. So the bracket's there, and then with the perforated part, I'm able to open it like that, and once I slide the dishwasher in place, I'll be able to put a screw in there and then cover it back up with this. Okay, so I've slid the dishwasher into place. I just want to show you, just make sure that your seal, the rubber seal that goes around the dishwasher, is uh, lines up with the edge of the countertop. And here's that little flap that I was talking about. And then that's where the screw is going to go. And then when the flap closes, it'll be hidden. This is what the other side looks like as well. Just make sure your seal is the edge of the seal is with the edge of the cabinet. Okay, so using the supplied screws, they're usually very short screws. They look like this, very, very tiny. We're just gonna screw in the left side of the bracket first. So I'm just gonna move the flap. And they're short screws because you don't wanna go all the way through the cabinet. There we go. Okay, we're going to turn the breaker back on. And then we're going to turn the water supply back on slowly.
with the water supply back on, we're just going to check for any leaks. Um, doesn't feel like there's any. Everything's nice and dry. Okay, we've got dishes. We've got soap. And we have a dishwasher. We're just going to do a, a test run here. I'll put it on express wash. And start. So the last piece of the dishwasher installation is to put the panel on. But before we do that, we're just going to run a cycle through it and ensure that there's no leaks. The dishwasher is actually on right now. It's doing a load. It's pre pretty quiet. And uh, it doesn't appear that there's any leaks. But I'll keep the, uh, I'll keep the tow panel off for the entire duration of, of the load just to make sure that the drain works and the supply works and the electrical is fine. Okay, so now the dishwasher is done. I have verified that there's no leaks or anything with the drain or the supply line and the electrical connection is perfect. So now we're just going to install the fleece or the acoustic sort of foam, I guess. It's not really acoustic foam, but it's just to dampen the noise. You're going to want to start by installing it around the supply line here. If your dishwasher is low to the ground, you can bend these pieces here under. And then now we're going to install the tow panel. And then you just kind of install the top piece first. You just tilt it like this, slide it under, and then up like that. And then you're just going to use the screws that are supplied. Two screws. And with the tow panel flush on the ground, you're just going to start with the left side here. That one's in. And then I'm going to do the right side next. Okay, that's the tow panel installed. And that's the dishwasher completely installed.